Hello my friends, yes, yes, this is Matilda and welcome to Tilda's Cookbook. Today's recipe of butter honey buns is a delicious bread roll, fluffy and soft and lightly sweet, and you can enjoy it with any kind of savory or sweet topping for breakfast or brunch or really any time of the day, even just by itself. It is so delicious, simple to make with everyday ingredients that you're going to love it. So let's get started. We will use three cups of flour, all-purpose flour, one cup of warm milk, half a cup of uh, soft butter, one large egg, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of honey, and seven grams of uh, dry yeast. In a bowl, I'm going to put my warm milk, the honey, that I also warmed up a little bit to be able to get it out of the bowl, the sugar, and the yeast. And I'm going to give them a mix to make sure that uh, everything is uh, combined and dissolved. And then I will cover my bowl and let it for 15 minutes to have my dry yeast activated. In my bowl, I'm gonna pour in the flour. And the salt and I'll mix them around a little bit and I'm making a small well in the middle where I'm gonna pour in my dry yeast that uh, has fermented really nicely it's risen beautifully and it smells so nice. Look at this, it's all bubbly. I'll add my egg. I have beaten it a little bit to make it uh, better in incorporating. And I'll start mixing it up to get everything blended. Most of my mixture has been incorporated, so I'll start kneading it now. Take everything out of my spatula. And at this moment, I will also add the butter. After kneading for um, a few minutes, I still have um, a very soft and sticky dough. And what I'm going to do now that everything is incorporated, I'm gonna cover it up with the towel and um, let it rest there for 10 minutes. This rest now is gonna make it um, a bit more manageable to work with. So, I'm going to sprinkle some flour and take it out of my bowl. So now I'm going to start kneading it. I have a nice soft dough. And I'm going to knead it until it becomes really smooth. And at this point, I would like to welcome you if you're new to my channel. Please consider to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And uh, also hit the bell icon so that you will get all the notifications on new recipes. Because I upload videos every week. I moved it onto my board because this... Um, 
rubber mat was giving me a hard time. I've kneaded it uh, about uh, 12 minutes now. But if you have a kneading machine, you could do it like that. So this is it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my bowl. I'll sprinkle a little bit of uh, oil into it, just a tiny bit. And my dough is gonna go in here. It took about an hour and 50 minutes actually, 15, to double in size and look at this, how wonderful it got. So now I'm going to sprinkle some flour on my board and take it out. I'm gonna punch the air out of it and open it up. I try to make it as square as possible because I wanna separate it now into 15 pieces. to this and I'll make them into little balls just pressing them all the way in like this underneath closing them on the bottom make them round like this. I have greased my Pyrex and I'm just gonna put each of those in there. And if it makes bubbles we make sure that uh, we break them. We just push from underneath like this to make sure that we have a nice even top and smooth. It actually gave me 16 pieces because I got this little one here. So what I'm going to do now is I'll cover them with a towel and let them get doubled in size before we bake them. 45 minutes later, they've doubled in size. So I'm going to brush them with some evaporated milk and you can do egg wash if you prefer. Just um, one egg with a little bit of milk like one tablespoon and brush them all very lightly in order not to lose their puffiness and I have preheated my oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit which is 180 Celsius and they're ready to go into the oven thirty minutes later our buns are ready. So what I'm going to do, and this is totally optional, while they're hot, I'm going to brush them with some butter. The butter gives them a shine and also makes them really soft. 
and then you can take them out of the tray and put them on a cooling rack and let them cool down there. Our buns are ready. Look at this one. So let's taste it. See how soft it is. Look at this. My friends, you cannot imagine. It's like a cloud. It's cotton soft. It's really, really lightly sweet. It is wonderful. Look at this. It is something else for breakfast, trust me. I hope you're gonna give it a try, my friends. It is really wonderful. I'm sure you're gonna love it. And I hope to see you back next time. Until then, happy baking. Kekalisa Sorexi. Bye-bye everyone.